Here now is Lisa Bell and Candace Campos with Florida Foodie. Sponsored by Light Orlando, delivering hope together. Hello and welcome back to Florida Foodie. I'm Lisa Bell and we are on location in Orange County's Tourist District. Yes, and I'm Candace Campos and we are joined today by a member of the family who owned a little small chain here that originated here in Orlando, even branched out to Jacksonville. So these restaurants are all decked out with art, statues, and menu items, all inspired by anime. We are so happy to be joined today by Jimmy Chun of Super Saiyan. Hey, how are you guys doing today? We're great. How are you? I'm doing awesome. We appreciate you guys for coming in, you know? This is amazing. So this restaurant has been here now for eight years. You guys are celebrating your eighth birthday. How did this all get started? Well, it started with my brother. He loves food, you know. He's always wanted to create it, uh, anime things he grew up with, you know. Like one day he's trying to figure out what's a good way to have like a, a soup themed restaurant. Mm -hmm. So one day he was just watching like anime. He sees Goku eating soup, it's noodles. And he's like, you know what? That's what I'm gonna call it. Mm -hmm. And that's when uh, Super Saiyan came in. And it all started with all mixed with his culture, the Laos, and um, also his wife's Vietnamese. So we put that together, combined it. So it's like a pan stir fry, right, stir fry and all that great stuff. And man, everybody here coming in here, loving it. Even when we started, we started off with very small figures and artworks. And then, man, everybody started donating art. Enjoy every piece of it. So a lot of the stuff that we see inside here has actually come from some of your customers. Correct. <laughs> That's great. I even donated some because I was such a big fan before you, uh, before I even came in over here. And and I mean, you really do have a big following here because the moment I told anybody, whether it was at work or at home, and I was like, oh, I'm going to Super Saiyan, they're like, oh my God, I love this place. <laughs> what is it? What do you think just keeps bringing people back? Do you think it's the nostalgia along with a good bowl of soup? It's just a, within our broth. Our soup, we cook mm -hmm. it for about 12 to 15 hours to savor the flavor. Everybody loves it, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, you can build it the way you want it to here, so. So you guys started here and you've now grown to three locations. Here, then Jacksonville, now out by UCF. Did you have any idea or did your brother have any idea when you first started this that it would become so huge? At first, no. <laughs> his, his sister was just doubting him, but then I'm like, you know, you give it a shot, you know? But then after like a couple months later, he's like, man, we just started blooming. Wow. So now I've been here for about five years and that's when he asked me to come in. And then we opened Super Saiyan uh, 3 by UCF. Mm -hmm. And I've been there for about almost two years now. And that one's been going pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know, the college kids there love right. it, the artwork and everything. What is it about anime? Just, you know, obviously you guys are obsessed with it. You opened a you know, restaurant surrounding it. What is it? What is it about anime? Childhood memories. We grew up with it, you know. <laughs> I grew up with Dragon Ball. Then I started watching the Root and One Piece and mm -hmm. everything just started to get bigger and bigger. Like yeah. all new enemies are coming in. Jujutsu Kaisen, My Hero, Demon Slayer, of course. Man, yeah. everybody just loves it. It's nostalgic <laughs> for a lot of people, but it's also just becoming more and more popular uh, around the world. Yeah. yeah, I noticed like all, even on like Instagram, all everybody's doing it. even like Burger joins with the name, mm -hmm. yeah. and, like everything, uh, just getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. And like with art, we just like to keep it small, you know, yeah. keep it within the family, because we, we don't want to like have it, our quality bad for mm -hmm. once it goes out, but. So how did you all learn to cook? Because it's one thing to be like, oh, I think that we should open up a restaurant, have an anime idea. theme, the... look, we'll have noodles. So where did the cooking side come into the it? The cooking side is actually Marshall's mom. Okay. Marshall's mom worked okay. for Thai restaurant. Mm -hmm. Marshall's your brother, brother. Yeah, who started it all. Yes, and so his mom loves cooking. So he developed from his from his mom. Then he also became like a sushi chef at the at the same time. Uh -huh. So he brought that all in together. And his wife, of course, loves pho. And then, <laughs> then she has her parents, you know, ingredients, putting it all together into one. So they're like, let's combine it. And that's how we made our So you foods. have a, a family history of everyone kind of has this cooking background. Yeah. And then you're blending it all together in the restaurant. Yep. Yeah. So. Get a taste of everything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and so when your brother said, this is the idea I want to have, what did you and your family think? Just, I mean, it just, it's funny. It's interesting. It's an interesting yeah. concept and it was ahead of its time. Right. Well, yeah, of course. Because at that time, 
you know, there was no anime themed restaurants yeah. around mm -hmm. in the in our in our area especially yeah so he's just like man he just gotta think of something to have a catchy phrase mm -hmm. so like just watching all these animes he, as he told me i was like hey man that's it i think it was a good idea so i was like you know you should just go for it yeah. and give it a shot so you see if that location makes a ton of sense right you're surrounded by thousands and thousands of college students jacksonville's where marshall's one of his best friends works and he right. saw that concept and is like hey yeah. we need this here yep. at this original location you're in the tourist district who is primarily coming here is it locals or is it tourists is it both what it's it's both especially mm -hmm. well especially with universal studios down the yeah. street <laughs> you know <laughs> so yeah. all the tourists come here i see a lot of people from out of the country like yeah. we were our, one of our bucket lists or, you know, stops is coming to Super Saiyan. Well, thanks to social media, which also has just blown up in the past eight years. Right. I mean, yeah. people are finding out about you all over the world. Oh, yeah, of yeah. course. You know you're good when one of my friends who lives in Seminole County ubers Super Saiyan. <laughs> so you know that she she adds a lot of more money yeah. on the whole yeah. Ubering thing to get your to get your soup. Yeah. So. yeah. So you have these three locations. Do you guys have plans to open up more? Uh, not at the moment. So we just we're keeping it closed. So that's all we wanted to do for right now. Okay. And today we're going to be cooking up a whole lot of specialties. Oh, yeah. um, tell us about some of you know the most popular items. So our menu. popular items are always the build a bowl. Everybody comes here like to build it the way you want it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't trust myself to build my own bowl. I, I want to leave it to the <laughs> professionals. Yes, we do have signature bowls as well. Mm -hmm. We have our Vietnamese pho, our pho ga, seafood pho. But the, the main one is the build a bowl. So okay. choose your own broth, your noodles. We have five types of noodles you can choose from and pick two toppings that you like your proteins that mm -hmm. you want to add in. And what, what makes pho better than just, you know, a normal soup? It's the 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 length, the time of the, the broth cooking. Okay. okay. So that actually makes a difference. It does. The longer it sits, the more flavor builds up into it. Okay. Mm hmm What's your favorite noodle? Like you, if you're gonna have to do a soup, what noodle is your go-to? My go-to, I actually like ramen noodles. <laughs> so yeah, and if I was to get it, I'll get a Vietnamese pho, our signature bowl, and I just swap it out with ramen noodles. So I asked you earlier if you had plans to expand, and you said not right now. Yeah, not right now. So maybe in the future, uh -huh. I'm just we're just seeing how things go for right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And how do how are your three different locations different than let's say your original? How is Jacksonville different than the one near UCF? Jacksonville locations a little different just because Marshall's best friend put it into a, a, his own mix into it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So and and uh, the UCF is always by the college kids, and we had like our local artists put plastered all his artwork mm -hmm. onto our wall. And the menus vary from store to yeah. store too, yeah, right? So yeah. So the sec yeah, Jacksonville location, his best friend created that one himself. Mm -hmm. He did take some of our ingredients, put it over there. Mm -hmm. But uh, UCF location is similar to this location. Awesome. Uh -huh. But the, the UCF one also includes sushi. And we need to take a real quick break because our favorite portion of Florida Foodie <laughs> continues next. That's right, Candace and I will be going behind the counter, into the kitchen, we'll be digging into the menu and let you know about all the flavors Super Saiyan has to offer. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Florida Foodie. It is our favorite time of the episode. That's right. We are now in the kitchen mm -hmm. at Super Saiyan, and we are going to be trying some delicious <laughs> stuff here. We are joined by Jimmy, uh, who runs this this restaurant. And what are we making today? Today we're going to do our signature bowl. So we got the Vietnamese pho, the trifecta, and our hangover bowl. Okay, where did okay. the hangover bowl? Tell us again the history behind the name Super Saiyan. The history, just because we love anime and soup. Got to put it together and get and that's what we made here. It's perfect. All right, so we're gonna start out over here, right? Yes. So we're over here. We're What's the out. first step? Yeah, first us. step, we Walk gotta it. Are cooking the noodles. And you have several different types of noodles. That's correct. Yeah. Right now, we're, do, we're we just dropped in our udon noodles, mm -hmm. and our next one is our ramen noodles. And they all they all cook at different times, right? So which ones yeah. are the fastest? The fastest one is right. We don't have it here. It's the rice noodles. It's mm -hmm. just a quick instant. It cooks right away. The udon noodles uh, takes up about like around 10 to 20 seconds so just as long as it breaks up and soft okay the ramen is the one that takes so long because it's a lot thick and that thicker. was your favorite you said yeah. right yeah, you like ramen, the ramen. Mm -hmm. i love those udons they're always like they're ooey yeah. gooey Ooh, look at that okay so this right. is where you were making what, yes. bowl is, what bowl is this one 
the, the trifecta. trifecta. Okay. okay, so what what makes it a trifecta? Trifecta, you get all three. You get the the shrimp, mm. the chicken, and the beef. Mm -hmm. And so, what do we have here? Is this, this is the beef. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, it's the brisket. Brisket. Oh man. So all of this goes in before the actual broth. Correct. Yeah. Mm. So I always thought the broth went first. And how long has your broth been cooking at this point? This broth is about 12 hours. 12 hours, okay. And so what does the trifecta get? So we get all three, <laughs> get the shrimp, chicken, and beef. And, and then, I, then I'll go ahead and add our red onions, mm -hmm. scallions, mm -hmm. and top it off with some cilantro. Whose cilantro. recipe is this? This is actually Joy's recipe. Okay. This is Joy's. This is yeah. your sister's recipe. Yeah. Sister's recipe. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So what goes after that? The broth. The, the broth. broth. Okay. Yes. So show us this 12 hour broth. So this 12 hour broth is uh -huh. over here at the yeah. end. Is this the broth? It's, it's this one right here. Right here. Wow. That is a huge tub of broth. How much is like? How many gallons is this? I believe it's 120. And will you go through this whole thing in one yeah. day? We do. We do run out. Yeah. What makes this broth? so flavorful it's the, the time that we put in all the flavors mm. that we sit in what is in it so we mainly put um okay, we put fried garlic little. fried onion yeah. let's put this over here i'd be so terrified to yum oh <laughs> it smells amazing mm -hmm. yes yeah, so, so you were saying you have onion in that broth what so else? we have fried onion fried garlic throw some oh. oyster sauce some um, Actually, there's some fish sauce in there as well. So there is. Yeah. So. Okay. It looks good. Are we gonna let? Let's, should we let this cool a minute before we try it? Mm. Is the ramen still cooking? Oh, the ramen. Oh, the ramen's, over ramen's here. already. Okay. Look so what are we making okay, with the ramen? Let's the next bowl. Yeah. yeah. This one is the hangover bowl. Oh, the hangover bowl. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Candace, you need this one. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> Why would I need it? But the, I bet this is probably really good. Yeah. yeah the so UCF. Oh yeah, the UCF, they love this there? one. Yeah. yeah, so this one comes with char siu pork. And, okay. Mm -hmm. it's homemade. homemade char siu pork. What we, is that? You say it's pork? homemade. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, um, we marinate it ourselves. Okay. And, yep, oh. let us sit. it. And what do you marinate it in? It's the mom that does it. It's oh. the mom's, yeah, it's, it's mom. their special oh. sauce. Their special okay, and what is this that we're now adding? This, this is, is, oh, yeah. this fish, is cake? fish cakes, the Naruto's. Fish cakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it does have the swirly ones. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I've and so, what exactly like that. is that? The fish cake? That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> They're just fish cakes. Okay. And then, what do you top this with? This one, we always top it off with just scallion. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it does come with a hard boiled egg. Okay. Candace was asking, how do you get your hard boiled eggs to <laughs> peel so perfectly? Because when we try and do that, I mean, we get like half the, the I know, white it's peeled ridiculous. Like how Do you do that? Are. Do you peel the eggs? Yes. Yeah. How do you do it? What's your secret? The secret is put in cold water, let uh -huh. it sit. Then when it's done. It's easy. It's easier. Yeah. How it's long easier. do you have to I let cook, it soak I, in cold water? I let it soak in cold water about like five, seven, six minutes. Okay. Okay. Minutes. I'm not waiting long enough because I've yeah. tried that trick before Me too. Me too. Yeah. But I'm not waiting that long. Okay. All right. And what broth does that get? It gets the same broth. The same broth. Okay. okay. What do we have going on here? Because I see this. Is this, what is this? This is our veggie broth. So the anyone that doesn't veggie. want, but for, mostly for our vegetarians. Okay. So we cook that in the morning. So is it vegan? Yes. Okay. Yes. So it's good for them. Okay. I'm behind And you. then we've got this, back, back to the this same broth. broth. Yep. Okay. Your signature broth. Signature broth right here. Is there an art to pouring the broth that you don't spill it everywhere? <laughs> Get it over the bowl. <laughs> okay. And this is still like cooking right now. Yes, got, it's okay. put on low there's, heat. So there's still heat on this. Yep, yeah. just very okay. low. Yep. All right. And what what is okay? This looks like it's just water in here. Yes, they're just okay. water starting. Okay. Yep. Oh man! Wow. Okay, and what do we have? That looks amazing. That looks so good. All right. So not only do you guys have soup, you guys also have little, little, little quick bites. So we have our little quick bites. Quick yeah. Finger foods what here. Do we have? What so is we it? have our Philly egg rolls that we have here. Okay. And okay. do you guys make those here? Those are, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, what's so, in them? So it has the scallions and the pork. Okay. Uh, sorry, yeah, scallions and beef, sorry. Okay. And with cheese and uh, mozzarella cheese inside of it. Yeah. Oh. Then we have okay, then also, the, other the other one is our crab rangoon. Oh, this crab is a, 
Yeah, so right. imitation crab meat and cream now, cheese. Now you're speaking my language. Yeah. That's so good. I love a good crab ragu. Okay. So awesome. these are some of your more popular. Ooh, they're cooking oh, now. They're cooking now. Yeah. yeah. How do you how do you recommend people eat this? Like with, I mean, how do you, you just you know, pork, yeah? What do you do? You spoon, slurp what's the proper is way? slurping brood. You pick the bowl up to your face. What do you do? Towards the end, you can pick the bowl up to your face, okay, but mostly okay. chopsticks and spoon. Okay. Okay. I don't. But, I don't do chopsticks on TV <laughs> for reasons I don't want to explain. Yeah. yeah. But yes, pork definitely works well. Okay. So, right. which we, one do you want to try? I'm gonna try the trifecta. Can you? Can we like uh, divide these and? Yeah. I want to try both. Can we pour a little bit into it? Yeah, of course. Oh my God, these are my favorite noodles. Okay. I'll let you do that because I'll make a mess. This is not going to be. It's not going to be pretty. I'll let you do it. Mm, mm, mm. How is it? Mm -hmm. So good. It's good? Especially mm -hmm. on like a, do you have like a cold winter day? Or even not even on a cold winter day, but I just feel like this is just so good just to have when it's cold outside. Oh, it's And do you have people coming in here and ordering it like this so that they can share? Yeah. You know, and they, try, you know, they try many types. things. Yeah. yeah. They always mm -hmm. order uh -huh. different types of both. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and split it up. Yeah. yeah. Together. All right, Lisa, yeah. go for it. All right. That's your bowl. Yeah. Dig in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go ahead. And we'll make sure you get a real I know, nice I feel close like, Yeah, no, I want to try some of this. This is the beef. Are you trying to spin it like pasta? I am. I am. Okay. Mm. The pork is tender. Mm -hmm. That's so good. How oh, is the pork? I thought it was the, beef. This is the beef. This is the pork one right here. Mm -hmm. The beef here. Mm -hmm. And I love how it also gets that freshness from the cilantro, and the red onions, and all that stuff. And how long are these going to be cooking for? It should be, the caramel green should be done by now. And the egg, roast, the egg roast takes a little bit longer. So I feel like this is definitely for like a meat lover's yep. bowl, you know? Yeah. And plus they want like yeah, trifecta with all mm -hmm. uh, the chicken and the beef and the mm -hmm. seafood. Well, bottoms up. Do you have, be, you have vegan bowls? Yes, we have a Vegeta Rian bow. Spaghetti, huh? Well, you know. I know, I know. So good. It's interesting because this is the same broth. These taste completely different. Really? It does, yeah. It's crazy. I'll put it in. Please. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll just go right into the bowl. Mm -hmm. This is so amazing. What are your hours? I mean, this is the hangover. Mm -hmm. So I have to imagine people are coming in here pretty late yes. looking for this. Uh, they are. So when they come, we close oh, during the weekdays. It's, it's, it's not as busy. So we close at 9, okay. Monday to Thursday. And Friday, Saturday, we close at 12, 10. Oh, at 10. So, yeah. But we open every day at 12. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's lunch, lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. I mean, although you could practically have this for breakfast, it's not good. So good. This is amazing. And then where can people find you mm -hmm. online? I know you have a huge social media following. Our Instagram, the Super Saiyan one, one. Instagram. It's Super this one. And then the yeah. third is Super Saiyan three. Yep. Is university. Okay. Yep. Awesome. All right. I'm going to try the ramen now. Right, I want to try, try this fish cake too. Can I'm in, try, I'm interested. Try in the fish cake. Yeah. Let's try this. It looks cute. I love the pink swirl. It's good. That's weird. Mm -hmm. That's good. Never had it before. Never had it. Mm. All right, now I gotta try this. Pork. Yeah, try the pork. Oh my god! You, the, one of the moms marinate. Moms marinated pork. You can never go wrong with that. This is the hangover. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Tender. Mm -hmm. Melts in your mouth. Jimmy, thank you so much. Very this well was done. amazing. Awesome. Can't wait to come back. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. good to see you guys and always that come to Please slurp when this all stops taping. So yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. You're very welcome. Glad you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Florida Foodie. You can find every episode available to stream on demand with the new 6 Plus app. Download it now on your smart TV completely free and start watching all your favorite new 6 shows whenever you want.